Hi, my name is Jamie Gow and I'm the Technical Marketing Engineer for the Cisco Unifile Attendant Consoles. In this video, I'm just going to take you through how to permanently license your server. So to begin with, just go ahead and open up Internet Explorer and navigate to your Attendant Console server. And you can then log in using your credentials. The default username is admin and the default password is Cisco, but you may have changed this. Go ahead and log in. Once you're logged in, just go and navigate to Help and Licensing. Once that page loads, you can see the current status of your licensing, so I can see that I'm in evaluation and I have 60 days left. What I'm going to do is just open a new tab and I'm going to navigate to www.cisco.com forward slash go forward slash AC. And if you're not already registered on this website, you can just go ahead and register your details. If not, you can log in using your credentials. And once you're logged in, I'm going to select Activate Purchase Software. And I'm going to choose a reseller, and you can add a reseller if you need to. And I'm going to do the same with a customer. Again, you can add one if you need to. And again with a site. It's then going to ask me for the registration code of the Attendant Console server. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in from here. So 286 0B. Now it's important that you get the correct case entered in here, otherwise, uh, the file will fail. Once you've entered that, click on Submit. It's then going to ask you for your license activation code. Now this would have been either emailed to you or you would have received it through the post. Uh, I'm going to enter my license activation code there. If you do have multiple codes, you can enter them into this one box. And I'm then going to click Submit. Now the edition that I'm licensing here is Premium Edition. Uh, so I do have a resilient server set up. In this case it's asking me if I wish to set up server resilience. Uh, I'm going to select yes. Uh, if you're installing it with standalone, you can click on no. If you're installed in either enterprise, business, or department edition, you won't get this message box. Uh, and all this is going to do when you click yes is it's going to send you an email with a new license activation code, and you'll then go through the same process on this website uh, just to license your subscriber server. You can then put in an additional email address to email the license file to. If you don't enter this, it will just send it to the email address that you registered on the website. And I can click on Submit. And then you'll just get confirmation there that it's been generated and emailed to you. Once you've received the email, just save that file to your machine somewhere and go back to your licensing page. Go ahead and click on Registration File click on browse and navigate to that file and then just click on save you then see uh, that the status changes to update complete and if you just check here you can see that your server is now fully licensed and now as I said uh, you also receive a email with a separate license activation code and that can be used for licensing your subscriber server so I'm just now going to navigate to my subscriber server and then just once again I'm going to log in using my details click on login and then just like I did on the publisher server I'm just going to go to help and licensing whilst that's loading I'm just going to go back to the licensing website and I'm going to click on activate your software again and again going through and selecting your reseller and your customer and then your site and again it's going to ask you for the registration code so I'm going to go back to my subscriber page and I'm going to enter the detail and I'll then enter the details again remember that it's case sensitive Click on submit 
And I'm then going to enter the license activation code that was emailed through and click on submit. And then again, it's going to give you the option here to enter an additional email address if you like. And then once you're ready, click on submit again and that license file will be emailed to you. Once you've got the email with the file, again, save that file somewhere locally. Go back to your licensing page, click on registration file, click on browse, find the file that was emailed to you and click on save. And once again, when you have the email through with the license file, just save that file locally. Go back to your tenant console licensing page, click on registration file, click on browse, select the file that you saved and click on save. And then just like the publisher you'll see the updates completed and that's now fully licensed. And if you do have any issues with licensing the server you should contact Cisco TAC. Uh, global licensing operations don't support this product so like I say contact Cisco TAC and they'll be able to assist you. When you do contact them make sure you have information handy such as your sales order number or the license activation code that you've used.